Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back for some more Sunset Overdrive. And uh, I don't know what part we're on now. <laughs> we're just moving along uh, slowly but surely. Part 12, that's where we're at. Somewhere around there. But uh, we're make making our way to the, uh, the LARPers to see what they're up to and to get this Ignatius guy to help us out with getting the fuck out of Sunset City. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Ooh, cutscene. Hmm. The far hey gunner? there, I'm looking for Ignatius. Interloper! What the hell? Come forth, burglar, and face my justice. Hardcore. Hardcore. Or time out, or whatever. Uh, do you wish to swear fealty to the king? Yeah, fealty. Let's do it. Proceed to the altar. Any candles? On bended knee, do you swear by the old gods and the new to serve King Ignatius? <coughs> Wait, that's Ignatius? <laughs> do you swear fealty? Man, these guys are yeah, hardcore. Yeah, by all the gods and trees and wizards and stuff, is my quinceanera over now? <coughs> you may rise. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but does the king need a coroner? Alas, our king has fallen ill. I pray you can liberate him from the spirits that afflict him. I sense some epic missions in my future. Word. My name is Wendy, and I'm the only one around here who's not living in a 12th century fantasy. Laura so Bailey. Ignatius is sick, for real. He needs 21st century food and medicine. Got it. Real food and medicine and maybe a shrink dressed as a cleric or something. Seriously, he needs your help. I'm worried for him. She's in everything, but I mean, that's all right. Cause she's really good at what she does. All right, let's see. Do we want to do this? Let's see what this side mission is. Pray pardon, good knight. Wicked Fizco warlocks have tainted Fargalthia. Metallic golems have placed a hidden evil around our kingdom. I get the metallic golems part, but what's this about a hidden evil? They are abominable, pulsing crimson watchers. I beseech ye, destroy them! Uh, fuck that, we'll save it for later. A fortnight passed, our stores were raided by a band of ruffians. Our king is weak and needs sustenance. Sorry, I don't speak, dungeon master. Some scabs stole all our food. Silence, anachronizer! <sighs> Whatever. We shall journey into the forest <laughs> together. There, we will gather our vittles. Sure thing, Bob. Our vittles. Uh, might notice, hopefully, a this up way? in quality Here in this go. video. I've been messing around with bit rates and stuff like that, and um, one thing I noticed is, you know, you kind of learn. Oh, yeah, what are they saying? I shall serenade you along the way. I have no a bard. Songs. Till we reach the forest. Now we ride! King Ignatius has not eaten since our stores of ragweed expired. You guys have been eating weed? Ha! That explains a lot. <laughs> Listen, edibles can mess you up. You gotta be careful. I have faith you will revive after sucking on a traditional meal. Here come your Anyways, uh, what I was saying is I've been messing around with bit rates and I have bit rates. I've been kind of trying them out on some of the other videos. I've been making uh, a little shorter music videos but uh and i definitely noticed a little bit of uh bump in quality because you know the trouble is is when i view these on my pc after i render them they all they look good you know they're clear and concise and everything like that and then i upload them and i don't know if it's my internet because my internet's ho-hum it's not the greatest but it's definitely not the worst it's kind of like high middle ground i'd say uh but one of the things i noticed is they're kind of 
some of the stuff can be pixely. So I've been experimenting with uh, a higher bit rate to see, hopefully that eliminates some of that. And, um, you know, the thing is, is like, I don't banter with other YouTubers. Because I don't really know any other YouTubers, so I'm kind of like figuring all this stuff out on my own. As I go. Which is, uh... Both kind of a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing in that I'm learning. It's a bad thing in that, uh... It might de deter people from possibly watching past content, especially some of my older stuff when I didn't quite know about uh, resampling and all that stuff like that and disabling it and making it so I cut down on ghosting and shit like that. But, um, you know, it, it, slowly but surely I'm getting the hang of everything and learning as I go, which... It's what makes it fun for me, um, kind of learning all these different things and then making the content in and of itself is fun. So, I mean, there's that, you know, so it's, it's, it's a growing process, um, and I'm still very much enjoying it, and uh, hopefully the things I'm learning through this will help me out in some of, some other projects I got going on that are kind of, um, simmering a little bit. That I don't really want to talk about right now until they get closer to getting off the ground, but you know, it's all a thing. It, and this is so much different than when I was in high school. I took two years of uh, media production, but keep in mind, when I was in high school, we didn't have like digital, digital video editing and shit like that. We had to do everything with VCRs and every, all that stuff. So, I mean, it was very, very different than using digital editing programs and things like that. And, um, it's amazing how far things have come just in the short amount of time since I've been out of high school. Actually, I guess I've been out of high school for a while. I don't want to talk about how long. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's cool. And, uh, actually, just in the Sunset Overdrive videos alone, you should be able to see a slight progression in, uh, Quality is what I've learned and what I've applied as I experiment more. How dare you? Tree bark is a staple of many a medieval diet. You do know that all those medieval people died horrible deaths, right? I keep forgetting I'm dealing with crazy people. They're eating tree bark? Whatever. So, you know, at any rate, it is what it is. Um, I'm sure probably my commentary style deters people too because I'm pretty laid back. Uh, I don't get too worked up. I don't yell and scream and throw shit and all that stuff. Uh, although this game gets me uh, going pretty good, but not, I'm not like, blah, you know, like some people. Which And there's nothing wrong with that style, you know, to each their own. Um, there's a couple people I watch that are kind of, they get animated in their commentary which is fine it all depends on the person but that's not my uh that's not my thing plus generally too from living in situations where i've had other people around me you know you try not to flip out plus working off shifts for the last seven years usually when i'm trying to game there's somebody sleeping or whatever so i've kind of adapted and ended up being a little bit more laid back gone are the days where i'd Wig the fuck out and break controllers and shit like that. To the first I think the last time I got really infuriated was. Huh. What was the Zelda 2. Uh, I didn't put it in the Zelda 2 video I just made. But uh, there was a part where I got pretty fucking furious at it. Uh. I think that might have been it. But as far as just like casually playing a game before like the whole I started doing videos and stuff like that, I think the last time I got seriously pissed off at a game was um Ninja Gaiden 2. I think it's the last time I lost my shit. But fuck that game.
see if we can keep getting these guys lined up and blowing them up with the barrels. Hopefully I can uh, do rather well through here. I've been off all week and today was the second day. I didn't... I had my son the first... Oh god. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So Tuesday night and now today is Wednesday. I, I didn't have them. I get them back tomorrow. So I figured I would have a what I call a bachelor meal. Went out and got a lamb sandwich, a dozen wings, and uh, some beer. And I've been having a bachelor night, <laughs> drinking beer and playing video games. And it's been a while since I've really had anything to drink. Some kind of a lightweight. So this, this this video could end badly, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, maybe not, we only got five seconds left. Should be alright. Uh, I guess I don't have to slay them. That's cool. Really? How much fucking tree bark do you need? Mayhap I have a word. Silence, Anachronizer! Where be our bard? Uh, he's dead. Bye. Oh, damn. We cannot harvest without song! Uh, can I be the new bard? I'm sick of being a smither. I want to be something more fun. Indeed! You may play as the new bard! Kick ass! Commence the harvest and sing loudly, bard! Sing She's sort of using her, uh... Same voice she used when she voiced the boss in Saints Row 3 and 4. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird having the boss yell at me. Let's plop down some acid sprinklers. I wonder if you can get the soundtrack for this. Because I want that. I wouldn't mind having that bard song there. Oh, damn. Ah, fuck. Oh, I forgot I can randomly have thunder come down from the. or lightning come down from the sky. Don't worry, I'll save you. I hate these ice guys. Fucking assholes. Another one of them guys. Oh, of course it is. Whoa! This might not end well. You really shouldn't fight on the ground, but... I don't want to leave him alone with them. off my tower. Maybe we can try to lure him over here where the that didn't work out so well. But we'll try to keep him in these circles. Maybe we can bombard him and dispatch him quite quickly. live for five seconds. Shouldn't be much of the horde left to destroy since I did most of the work while you harvested your tree bark. I don't know why I'm talking to them, they can't hear me. Holy 
Yes. <coughs> Forsooth, countrymen. That was amazing. Allow me to thank thee for thy skills on the battlefield. Thou dost possess the strength of Samson and the wisdom of Solomon. And the power of love. Now go yep. feed Ignatius that bark jerky and let me know when he's conscious. I have work for him. Let us return to our king with haste. Bark jerky. <laughs> All right, let's see. Mm -mm. Uh, I cut out. I fucked around the menu there, so I'll cut that out. Uh, let's see. Guess we'll just go find the larpers and. Hey, it's Wendy. Oh. So you know that bark soup you almost died for? It's not a. Hitting the spot. What a surprise! Okay, send a crew to meet me at the farmer's market. We'll haul back some real food. Farmer's market. Now, what? There's probably not going to be anything left at the farmer's market because hasn't the city been abandoned for weeks? Not so much abandoned, but I mean, everybody's either trying to survive or has been mutated into hideous monsters, so I mean, what could possibly be left. Guess we'll find out. Let's see. The farmer's market is bound to have at least a few fruits and vegetables. Potatoes, at least. They had those in the 12th century, right? Yep. Let's see. Trash. What the? Where did all the food go? You stupid fat pigeons ate all the food. Why? You can get by on cigarette butts and litter. Ugh. <laughs> Where is thy food you spoke of? <sighs> fat pigeons. Fat pigeons. They had pigeons in the 12th century, right? Tastes like chicken. I don't know. I've never actually eaten a pigeon. I've had dove, but I've never had a pigeon. Welcome to the Pigeon Dome. Many pigeons enter. Some might leave. Use the grind cookers and pyro geysers to roast pigeons. Got a flaming compensator? That'll work too. Whip it out. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. We shall roast. get any pigeons at a time. Okay, yeah, maybe this will be harder than it looks. We have to outsmart these rats with wings. Sounds like the dude from uh, the original Killer Instinct. He was like, call me. Oh, come on, we can get more than 46. Holy mega ultra pigeon combo. Maybe not in that track. Pigeons, come feet. Super macro. Five. Mega That's not bad. Let's see if we can get like 60 or something like that. Adamantium platinum super macro. Holy mega ultra pigeon combo. There's a lot of pigeons. New mono ultra there we go. I wonder if that was written intentionally or if the dude actually forgot to say pigeon when he was reading his line. Cool. Pigeon slaying skills are legendary. Enough of this foolishness. 
Yeah, that was easy. Oh. With speed. I gotta follow them. It's never that easy. Shall we cross it? Yeah, we'll kill these dudes and drop the bridge back down. There's only three of them. How hard can it be? Oh, no, there's more than three. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, that was cool. Stay on the rail. It is a fine day to farm for XP, I I may level up by the time this is over. The beast's attack! I don't know how this game's gonna end. I this is a completely blind playthrough of it. I wouldn't mind seeing a sequel though. Great boss. We must protect the king's feet. Yeah, we'll take care of him. My beer is kicking in. I'm getting tired. But I, I'm the lamest beer drinker, man. Like, you like four or five in me, and I'm ready for bed. Anyways, what I was saying, I don't know how this game ends, but I would not be opposed to the idea of a sequel. It is fun. I think there's room for Insomniac to improve upon certain elements of the game. But all in all, uh, it's one of the most fun games I've played in a long time. Let's see. <laughs> Now, I highly, if you have an Xbox One, I highly recommend you pick this up. Uh, especially since I don't even think it's full price anymore. I, I mean, I picked it up for 30 bucks, I think. New. And uh, it came with, it was the Day One Edition. Uh, so it had whatever the stuff was that you were supposed to get. It's like pre-release, or pre-order content and shit like that. And, I mean, if, I wouldn't have been upset if I paid full price for this game. But, I mean, especially now, if you can get it... And it's still 30, even 40 bucks, man. That's a steal. Uh, there's, it's a hell of a good game. Uh, once I get done with the campaign, or the main story missions, I'll probably get the DLC for it and check that out. Eat, so you may be reborn. <laughs> if he barks up that gutter chicken, I'm out of here. Gutter chicken. <laughs> Our king sleeps peacefully. You have done well, my lord. We are forever indebted. Perhaps you would like to share in the king's feast? Uh, no thanks. I think I'd rather eat bark. Alright. We'll wrap it up there. We've been going on long enough. So, we'll pick up where we're leaving off in the next video. 
And like always, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. All right? Have a good one.